Hello? Hello? Get on it? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's got it's got some giddy up. Alright, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah. Highways jam was broken, heroes on a last chance power drive. Well everybody's out on the road for nice, but there's no place left to hide. Okay, here we go. Out on a demo ride. Laconia, New Hampshire. On a 2016 Yamaha FJ09. I'm looking at the gas tank here. There's a little tag. It says uh, seat height 33.3 .3 inches or 33.9 inches. Wet weight 463. Displacement 847 cc triple. MSRP 10490 There we go. First impressions. Smooth engine. It feels like one of those BMW sewing machine type engines. It's just kind of lacking in character, I, I have to say. Seating position, 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 and, and, and is uh, sport touring, classic sport touring. A little bit of forward cant to the upper body. Legs are not like a sport bike, but not not like a standard either. Kind of in between a standard and a sport bike. Uh, first touch of the front brake. Good brakes. It's light. Feels light. Position. In. Looking at the dash, it's all digital, digital tack, digital speed. The big numbers are the, is your speed, gear, position indicator, that's always nice. It's got a, it looks like an, an air temperature, cooling temperature, some kind of a trip meter. Standard mode right now. Yeah, not much power in the rear brake, but most bikes don't anyway. Most of your stopping power is in the front, so that's okay. Front brake, grass pretty good. Here next to me, my buddy on uh, an FZ09. Guy in front of me, he's got a, uh, what is that? FJR. FJR 1300. It's hoping to take the FZ07 out, but they were all taken. Here we go, we got a blocker keeping traffic from hitting us over here. And we're off. There we go. All right, I gave it about half throttle there. Not bad. Smooth triple. So far, so good. Already up in sixth gear. So I, I just took out the, I think it was the Yamaha SXC900, maybe an hour ago. And that, that was more lively, I have to say. Uh, what's going on? Oh, we got guys up ahead turning. It pulls pretty good, but not as good as that SXC900. And certainly, nowhere near as strong as the uh, Ducati Diablo I just demoed half an hour ago, an hour ago. I mean, that thing was just an absolute beast. Of course, you can't compare the two, really. All right, so I'm getting pretty good wind blast. It's refreshing on a hot day like this. The wind is hitting me near the bottom where my hand is now, the bottom of my, kind of at the bottom middle of my helmet. 
the legs are uh, not much on the legs though. It's actually pretty comfortable the, the way I'm canted forward a little bit with the wind coming in up into my helmet. Now this is a tricky right, right hand, nice slow right hand corner here. Everyone's going to slow down to a crawl. Putt, 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 putt. Get on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's got some, it's got a nice meaty feel in the mid-range, but, um, it is a little lacking on the bottom, but it's tough on a group ride. You can't really, you can't really put the spurs to it. I'd say it's a little bit slower than my Suzuki V-Strom 1000, not quite, especially bottom end, it doesn't have it. But that other 900 I demoed earlier, that thing was probably a little bit quicker than my V-Strom. Now this thing is pretty light, I like the way it handles. You know, it's a lot lighter than what I'm used to riding. I don't know if the locals appreciate it. thousands of people bombing through their roads for a week, but... Bike Week has been here for 100 years. All right, all right, all right. So I just downshifted, gave it a kick there. Yeah, yeah it's, got, it's got some giddy up. I, I do wish the engine had some more character. I'm going to say that it's missing the character of a V-twin. But it's not as bad as an inline four. It's not as uh, muted. I mean, some, I know some people love the way an inline four screams at the top of the rev range. And yeah, it's, a, it's fun, it's thrilling, but you shouldn't have to wait five seconds from when you twist the throttle for the power to kick in either. You shouldn't have to downshift every time you want to pick up the pace a little bit. So, so this is a nice sport touring bike. I, I'd say it, I'd say it, it's a little bit more on the sport side than the touring side. Another slow speed corner. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go, yeah. Let me see if I can fiddle with the uh, the modes again. I can't figure it out. I'm a dummy. Just ask my wife. It's a lot more agile than my V-Strom. But it's not as comfortable for sure. I'm not sure what this bike compares to in the marketplace. Uh, it's like a middleweight sport tourer. There's not much out there. Maybe uh, if you want to step up a Ninja 1000, uh, that's more, even more of a sportier sport tourer. Um, if you want to step down, there's the Ninja 650. It's probably similar to that. BMW's got the um, F800 lineup. I bet you it's very similar to those bikes. I demoed one of those too. It's been three years. I don't remember. Other than being a little bit underwhelmed, actually. Uh, here comes my blocker. Thank you very much. It goes. It goes. Once you get the RPMs up, it's good. it goes. We'll have one more chance here to uh, to crack the whip on it here as we get out on the straightaway on Route 106. 
Now it says seat height 33.3 inches and I'm able to flat foot it. Yeah, but I got pretty long. I got like 35 inch inseam. It up to about 9,000 RPM. It pulls probably around above 5,000. It pulls pretty good. I just wish it had more character to it. The exhaust is so quiet. I'm sure that can be fixed pretty easily. I like triples. I'm surprised nobody else but Triumph makes them, I don't think. Nice combination of the torque of a twin and the the high RPM power of an inline four. It just sounds like a blender. The question I always ask myself, is this a bike I could take to the track once or twice a year? Uh, good question. That would be a borderline call. Yeah, you could take it to the track. How? I mean, you could take it to the track. It's not the best tool for the track, but yeah, I would probably take it to the track once or twice a year. These guys going out on these X Diavels are going to have a hell of a hell of a good time. Hello? Hello? And there we go. Goddamn thing in their life.